Being in a relationship with my girlfriend is oh for awesome. However, when it comes to professional wrestling, now that's a different story. My first guideline is to never, ever, 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 ever discuss professional wrestling with you. And that's because all she sees are two sweaty men in tights rubbing up against each other. And you and I both know that's further away from the truth. She never sees the skills, the enthusiasm or the athleticism that the wrestlers are trying to portray inside that ring. So, how do I continue being a professional wrestling fan around here? Well, I like to go on the phrase of actions speak louder than words. And I do that by wearing wrestlers t-shirts, especially ones that don't necessarily have the image of the professional wrestler because one thing, she doesn't have to be embarrassed that her boyfriend is a professional wrestling fan. Or if I want to step it up, I'll get a t-shirt that has a cool slogan like this Mr. Anderson one where it has pro wrestling is real, people are fake. Talking about t-shirts, from time to time my girlfriend will ask me for a t-shirt and I have no problem with that whatsoever. So, when she asks me for a t-shirt, do I give her a non-wrestling t-shirt? Nope. Do I give her a Charlotte t-shirt? Nope. Instead, what I do just for shiz and giggles is I'll give her a t-shirt of one of my favourite wrestlers like Kevin Owens. or for even more shiz and giggles, I'll ask you to wear this Bullet Club t-shirt where it has a slogan in Japanese that's similar to a DX slogan. My third guideline is around purchases. Now, if you've been following my channel, you'll know from time to time that I've shared with you my wrestling unboxings or shared with you my wrestling hauls. And sometimes, those things can be quite pricey. And with that comes questions like, how come you got so many wrestling t-shirts? How much did that thing cost? How much did this thing cost? So to try and avoid those kind of questions, what I do at any time is what I'll do is whatever I pay for a wrestling merchandise or items, I'll ensure that when I do something with my girlfriend, it costs way more than my actual wrestling merchandise. That way she doesn't get too suspicious of what I'm trying to spend my money on. But I just want to lay a disclaimer right here, right now. And that is to please ensure that you've got your priorities straight. And what I'm meaning is ensure that all of your bills and anything that needs to get paid, get paid off first. Okay, so you've probably heard the lines of Wrestling's fake or you know that's fake, right? It's like people are trying to help us understand the grey matter between what is real and what isn't real. And honestly, that's one of my pet hates being a professional wrestling fan. And in my relationship with my girlfriend, it's no different. So, what do I do as a wrestling fan to get back at my girlfriend? Like this. I'll watch her favourite TV programs, her favourite movie, and I'll sit there, and when any action happens, I just dish it out back to her. That's fake. You know that's fake, right? It goes on the lines of, what goes around, comes around. Okay, so the fifth thing that I'm going to share with you is, is that my girlfriend enjoys watching movies. So. I'll ask her if she knows The Rock, aka Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock. And of course she knows who The Rock is. And I'll remind her that before Dwayne Johnson or The Rock became a Hollywood superstar, he was a professional wrestler. And from time to time, he'll return back to the WWE. And of course I'm going to get the shut up. With that being said, I think it's time for me to shut up this video and finish this video. I want to thank everybody for um, taking the time to watch this video right here. If I've left anything out or if you want to share some of your guidelines or tips in regards to being a professional wrestling fan with a girlfriend who doesn't like professional wrestling, then please 
feel free to share them with me and anybody else that reads my comments down there in the comment section down below. I'm Breva35 and once again, thank you so much for watching this video. What the rock is